Hi, I'm Vitek from Refactory and today I'm going to show you how to set up our Level Keeper. So, Level Keeper is a device for automatic replenishment of evaporated water in marine aquarium. It controls an external water pump or Rodi electrovolve system supplying power when necessary. Let's start from unboxing the device. The Level Keeper box contains the main unit with a slot for a pump and electrovolve, two sets of liquid sensors, power cable, magnet for resetting the device, fuses, template for mounting the unit, screws for hanging the device. Remember, because our device is universal, the set does not include neither a water pump nor an electrovolve. Choose a pump for topping up according to your needs, taking into account the efficiency and height of lifting the water column. The main unit includes a power socket, a pump or electrovolve control socket, LED indicating operation of the device, a reset location on the device. Using the supplied power cord, connect the device to the mains power outlet. Insert the power cord into a tightly fitted socket, making sure the cord is not too loose. Next, we mount the liquid level sensor. We screw the two pieces of the keeper together using the included plastic screws and wing nuts. Make sure to insert the screw with a flat side facing the level keeper. To place the liquid level sensor in a holder, unscrew the nut on the sensor, slide the sensor into the dedicated spot with the wire up and tighten the nut so the sensor stays in a place and the wire is pushed into the notch. Follow the same procedure with the second liquid level sensor. Mount the sensor on the edge of the sump by gently tightening the screws. There are two ways the device may operate. Option one, continuous measurement mode. One sensor should be placed at the level that the level keeper is supposed to maintain. When the water evaporates and the sensor is in the lower position, the power supply to the top of pump will be activated or the electrovolve will open and when the level returns to normal, the power supply will be disconnected. The second sensor is placed above to warn us of high water levels. When the water level rises, for example due to a failure of a circulation pump and stopping circulation, the Smart Reef system will inform us by sending a notification to our mobile device. Option 2. We mount both sensors at the level that the level keeper is supposed to maintain. When either sensor detects low water level, the water top-up will start and will continue until both sensors detect the maximum water level. When the sensors are installed, we can connect them to the device by plugging the wires. The sequence is up to you. The device will detect which sensor is responsible for the minimum water level and which sensor is responsible for alarming about the high water level. The maximum load of the device is 600 watts. We may set up the device using a browser on your computer, laptop, tablet or smartphone. We open the list of available devices on the Wi-Fi network, select and connect to the network corresponding to the serial number of the device. The serial number can be found on the back of the device and on the packaging. The pattern of the serial number is an abbreviation of the company name, the device name and the string of 12 digits. The password is required to connect to the network. The default password is refactory, all lowercase and no spaces. If while connecting to the device's Wi-Fi network you see no internet access notification, connect anyway. Using the same device, open a web browser and enter levelkeeper.io in the web address field. If such message appears on the screen after you have entered the correct web address, it means that the connection to the device has not been established and that the connection to your home internet network is still active. Remember that during the direct connection to the device's Wi-Fi network and the initial configuration, your phone or computer will lose the internet access. Configure the device in five easy steps. Step one, select the language you want to use when operating the device. Step 2. Use the slider to set how often the device should check whether you need to refill the tank. You may select to keep the device off all the time, measure every 60, 30 or 10 minutes or special modes. The infinity mode will only refill when both sensors detect low levels and will stop topping up if one of the sensors detects the maximum. The hysteresis mode will only top up when both sensors detect low water levels and will stop when both sensors detect high water levels. Step 3. Connect the device to your home Wi-Fi network. 
select the appropriate network and enter the password. When the level keeper successfully connects to the Wi-Fi network, you will see the IP address assigned to your device in the left upper corner of the screen. This is the information that the connection with the Wi-Fi network was successful. Step 4. Log into the Smart Reef system by entering your username and the password, or if you haven't got one yet, select Create a free account. Step 5. Congratulations, the process of setting up your device has been completed and now click End to complete the setup process. Pay attention to the icons in the upper right corner of the screen. There should be green icons next to the Wi-Fi and Smart Reef icons indicating a valid connection. If you see a red exclamation mark next to either of them, it means that the device has lost connection to the Wi-Fi or Smart Reef system. From now on, you can control your device through the Smart Reef app or at reeffactory.com. Once setup is complete, remember to disconnect your phone, tablet or computer from your device's Wi-Fi network and connect to your home network to regain the internet access. Go to Smart Reef mobile application or log into your account at reeffactory.com. Select Level Keeper from the list of your devices and click its name to go to the device details. Next, go to the Level Keeper settings and select the calibration function. Connect a pump or an electrovolve to the device and then use the fill up function. When the water fills the hose and the filling process is complete, place the end of Roddy water hose into the measuring container and use the start calibration function. The unit will start up and pump the water, the quantity of which we need to enter into the window. We may do this by using measuring container or scales. After entering the quantity of poured water, set the time after which the device will remind you about the need to recalibrate. From now on, the device will collect statistics on the quantity of water added. After calibrating the device, remember to put the roddy hose back into the circulation in a safe way so that it does not accidentally disconnect. It may happen that you forget the password to connect to the device or you want to reconfigure it. In such a case, you will need to reset the device to the factory settings. To do this, you need to place the magnet provided in a set to the upper part of the level keeper housing where the sticker with the word reset is located. Remember that after restoring the device to the factory settings, you will have to configure it again. This is everything in terms of the Level Keeper configuration. If we still haven't answered all your questions, please contact our support team via email support at refactory.com or use the support tab on refactory.com. If you found this video useful, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. And obviously join our Refactory family community on Facebook. See you around.